and I think. So previously, we have talked many times about connecting our devices to the internet. And we have achieved somewhat remote connection and remote controlling of the device in previous project. That is the controlling the LED using web page. So we connected our LED to our local network via the ESP8266. And by the accessing the IP address of ESP8266, I was able to control the LED. So the question being, can I control it from anywhere in the world? Answer is yes, but not with that setup. So reason being, whenever I say I can control it, using internet from anywhere in this world. So I must have some permanent node or permanent address or permanent place in the internet. And IoT devices, especially small devices, like ESP8266 can not be the permanent address. So to resolve this, we will use the platform known as cloud. So cloud is in some infrastructure on internet. So what we will do, we will interact with our devices and we will interact with the data, process data of our devices via this cloud. So cloud is a permanent address. So I can connect my device to that permanent address. That means that cloud. And via the cloud, I can control my device from anywhere in this world. So right now, if these all things are sound a bit confusing, it is fine. In next two projects, we are going to see exactly this. And believe me, it is not difficult at all. Just only thing is, you will control your IoT devices using the cloud. That's it. We will connect our device with the cloud and via the cloud, you can control your IoT devices from anywhere. And another advantage of these clouds are fabulous interface and the functionalities it offers. So it offers the functionalities like data processing, data storage, data visualization, and of course, functionalities related to device state and device control. So some of the places we use this cloud is a smart home, health and fitness, agriculture, and transportation. To put it in, like really wake term in general, whenever we make IoT solution, including the small devices, we generally use the cloud. So one of the cloud platform that we are gonna see is Arduino IoT Cloud. This is the one of the leading platform and one of the easiest one to start with. So IoT, Arduino IoT Cloud Platform offers the fabulous interface 
and it is really easy to connect. So to start with Arduino IoT Cloud Platform, you just need Arduino compatible code with Wi-Fi capability. So we previously saw the ESP8266 fulfill both the conditions. Other than that, we need one account and USB cable. That's it. We can start building. So just we need to connect our board to the computer. We need to start the ID. We need to write the code and upload it. And that's it. We can we will be connected with the IoT cloud. Now we can control our device remotely. So that's it for today's video. In next two videos, we are gonna make a really, really cool and interesting project. So soon see you in the next video. Till then, bye.